Hello everyone, welcome to a new video and a brand new start to a brand new bus build. So this is the mid bus build and today is going to be the first day that we're working on it and today we are going to take all the seats out of here so that way we can get an idea of the space and come up with a layout and then come up with a game plan. So I have my buddy Kale coming up today which he helped me way back on the Vin Diesel build a year or two ago I don't remember now when I did that so he's coming to help me get these seats out today since Jaylena my girlfriend is really pregnant and can't do much hardcore stuff and she's still working on her peach build over there but we're really excited to get into the build today let's get into it Dude. What's up, KLW? So that's KLW right there. And that's Tyler right there. What's up, man? How much, dude? How's it going? What's up, How's man? Going? It's been a while. All right, we got the team out here. We got the demo team out here. We're going to start tearing this bus out. And I was just underneath the bus. And it looks like the seats were just screwed down. Most of the time there's a nut on the bottom and a bolt on top and you got it's like a two-man job it sucks it sucks but like i'm looking under here and i'm not seeing any nuts i'm just seeing i'm just seeing screw heads if that's the case this seat demo is going to be pretty easy so let's uh let's find out all right let's find out is it a lag is it a screw? Uh-oh. I don't... Yeah, I think it's bolts. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be... You know what I'm saying? Is this one of those buses that has the... Uh... It, they're not coming up, so I think it is nuts. So, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. Demo has commenced. We can't get to the nuts on the bottom. So it's gonna be cutting all these bolt heads off for this whole thing. And look what just happened right here. Whole cutting wheel just broke off. And they're back there working on getting the bolts and nuts off each side. And then I'm taking the cutting wheel and cutting all the heads off the bolts on the floor. So when we were thinking this was gonna be a lot easier, we were wrong. It's gonna be a lot harder. Here, let's, uh... Right, guys how was that one you guys have done a few of these this one was it was harder but easier if that makes sense it don't explain so on the shorter buses it seems like there's more working room to get under the seats once you pull one you could get under and you could really do it just one person this one actually took two people to do but with that said once you got that that first nut cracked came apart with your fingers so and and it was harder in some ways but easier in others 
So. And that was the first time I ever took one of these seats out. Really? Yeah, never done it before. You've helped me floor them. I thought you've helped me put take those out before. No, Kale always helped you with the the seats. The I just seats in the, the AC. Yeah, and we didn't have to pull an AC out of this one hanging. Oh in the yeah, back this yeah. Because it's, it's, it's not from, an Arizona bus. It's from or Oregon. Yeah. We cool. we don't need AC here. All <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, everyone. So we took the trim up. Oh yeah, check it out. Bus is demoed. Now we took all the trim up, and as you can see, we have this coolant line running all the way back here to this heater. So the way that you take that out is underneath the bus. I have a couple one-inch uh, fittings, and we're gonna. It's gonna be about a three-man job. We're gonna cut it underneath really quick. Somebody's gonna kink the line, and then I'm gonna put uh, the fittings on it, tighten it down, try and not lose too much coolant, and then somebody else is gonna pull this out and try not to lose a bunch of coolant in the bus. Uh, so I'm not gonna be getting too fancy with the camera angles because there's gonna be coolant everywhere. We'll probably just set up a shot and leave it, leave it there. All right, y'all, so we got crap all over us. We basically cut the coolant hose that was going up, and then we used fittings and created this U so that the coolant can still travel through. Yeah. We, just, we just basically did the connection that would normally go through the heater right here, and I just hung it up just so it isn't like flapping around by the tire. It's not pretty, but that's how you disconnect the coolant lines and the heaters inside the vehicle. Uh, just know you're gonna get messy. <laughs> oh my gosh. The socks are dry. I mean, I'm cool with that. All right, everybody. Kale and I, I had to change my clothes. Kale and I just got coolant all over us. It was pretty hot. You and that heater out. But look, our boy got that coolant line out and that rear heater is out. Now, <laughs> I so Tyler it. started working on the floor. Look at this. Dry rod. That is like black mold. The floor is absolutely nasty. So normally you guys have seen us keep the floors and just, uh, floor and just floor right over them. But those are on buses from Arizona. This is not a bus from Arizona. So that floor is completely tore we have to redo this whole floor we're also going to redo the walls and the ceiling so this is going to get a complete gut and redo but we wanted to show you that so depending on where you get your bus look for dry rotten mold you, you probably you might need to take the whole thing out uh, kale how do you feel after getting coolant all over you well now I know how Stormy Daniel feels after every shoot, so I guess we're there. <laughs> Look at us, working man right here. <laughs> so check out this floor. It's uh, 
surprise. <laughs> Definitely needed to come up. We found it was just literally wet underneath there. So who knows how long that water was down there. And then as soon as we got the stuff up, it dried up pretty quick. So all this rust is going to have to be wire wheeled and I'm going to have to get some, uh, some rust treatment. Treat all, so I definitely got another day or two of just getting this floor prepped. But uh, right now, so this is what we did. We got all the seats out and we got the floor demoed. You can see it all out there. And now I'm gonna go through and vacuum this all up. I'm gonna load this whole thing up and head to the dump and dump it. So that's the plan probably for the rest of the day. And then I'm gonna take these gentlemen to dinner. It's true. All right, let's go. <laughs> All right, so what we're doing now is loading up all the stuff we just demoed out of here. And we're putting it back in the bus because this is the only thing big enough to haul it to the dump. And I'd rather get rid of it now than later. So let me help these guys. Shop. True that. Let's go. Alright everybody. The, I'm gonna reintroduce these men right here. This is KLW and that's Tyler back there. And check it out. This is day one of the mid bus build. And these guys came all the way down here from Salem to help give me a hand and like this was a huge mission. So if you could see, we definitely needed to address the floor. I got some more work. That's gonna be the end of the work day today. This video will continue into tomorrow, but uh, I'm super grateful. They probably saved me three, four days at least, maybe even a week. Thank you guys. Yeah. So if you see these guys out and about, give them a thank you and a high five. But we're gonna keep on building this bus and this thing will be done in the next couple months. So. If you're not already, oh wait, we're not ending the video. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's a new day. Kayla and Tyler were helping us out yesterday. Got so much work done on this thing yesterday. Probably, if I was by myself, what happened would have probably took me three, four days. And having two other people here really helped knock this out let's go in here and I'll show you what's up there it is so as you can tell there's engine coolant all over the floor so I am gonna have to wash this out today but before we do that I'm gonna finish um, taking this rubber down here that still needs to be taken up and then I'm gonna hose this down and clean all this coolant out of here but uh stoked so gonna get this coolant up get the rest of the stuff that needs to come off the floor and then i'm probably gonna start getting these walls off wild okay Anywhere water, water puddled up, you can see how bad it was. So I just got that step off. It's like sand and look at all that. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna get shot back, clean that up. All right, now I'm gonna go in and, so I just got that up. I'm gonna go in and take a grinder and cut down any of the nails and stuff that's sticking up like that right there can you see that and I'm gonna get the floor flat once I get the floor flat and also you can see there's uh, 
There's some nails sticking up from when they put the subfloor in. So I'm gonna go in and get the floor knocked flat. Get all the nails out, get all them screws flat, and then uh, and then we'll wash it. That's what we're doing. Isaac is giving the bus one more rinse and then we're gonna dry out the dry out the floor so that we can actually treat it and do all that stuff but we're getting ready to go watch the premiere of us buying this bus and showing that to all of you guys so that's exciting we're super excited to chat with you guys on that premiere and we hope that you made it so that's what we're getting ready to do while this dries out are you excited Oh, yeah. This is the whole house. The plan is, I wanted to get this thing washed. Oh, got another little thing sticking up, but. I wanted to get this thing washed with the degreaser before the live chat, or the premiere, the way I could get it drying and I could come work on it when we're done. So, it's all by design. This is working while we're working. Instead of waiting. Hopefully the sun will come out. It seems like it's going to. Yeah, hopefully. Hello. Uh, so, so yesterday, Kale and Tyler came out and helped me do this. This morning, I came out here and cleaned up all the engine coolant. That, or, yeah, that was all over. Because it wasn't going to dry. It was oil. So, got some super clean out. Cleaned the floor up. I had a fan on it. And then I drilled a couple holes where the water was piling up because there's holes everywhere anyways I got a patch so water's all dried out and the floor is ready to be prepped I was going to take the walls off and the ceiling off in this video but honestly it's like three o'clock we just premiered the video that we got this bus and I'm pretty beat up after yesterday I don't feel like doing nothing um, so, I mean, it was just a hard day at work yesterday. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video right here. And I'm going to help Jaylena with the peach so we can wrap that bus up. There's only a few days left this month. We want it done. Um, that's our plan. So, I hope you guys are as stoked as we are about this brand new bus build. Um, if, if you're already subscribed much love to you if this is the first time seeing one of these videos consider subscribing because we are building this house for my girlfriend Jaylena and our baby girl ember that's coming soon and we're gonna knock this out pretty quick so i'm gonna my goal is to have this done in about a month and a half and uh we'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for hanging out with us we really do appreciate you and we are stoked to turn this into a tiny house <laughs>